Yes, folks, we are back here on WOW Radio with the Blue Police Show and Total Biscuit. Right, I've exhausted one of my topics here. I've got a very, very short WordPad file here with called Possible Topics for Discussion. Hum, well, let me put it this way. This weekend I've been in a drunken stupor. I don't know if, obviously, probably quite a few of you have gone through university and you know the whole thing about leaving university is a bit of a uh, drag, if you can put it that way. But there's always something, some kind of party to celebrate leaving. And in our case, the party was the Leavers Ball. So I'm going to picture somewhere. Let's see. And I'll post this in the channel for you. If anyone isn't in the World of Warcraft IRC channel, get over there right now. It's where the cool people are. www.wcradio.com. Right now, we are approaching 100 listeners. That's rather fantastic, folks. Keep them coming. Get your dogs to listen. Get your pets, your brothers, your sisters, your mothers, everybody. Everybody to listen. Right. Now, I've got a scary picture, and I'm going to post it on the WOW radio channel. This is the picture of me at the Leavers Ball. And this is the reason I haven't got so much content up today, specifically because I was drunk for about two days straight. So, yes, I'm posting that right now. There we go. One picture in there. But, yeah, killer hangover, rather drunk, rather unpleasant. There you go. That's why I haven't got as much content. However, I've got all the features done for today. We will have a wrap in the forums. We will have Ask the Murloc coming up in a few short minutes' time, so stay tuned for the Wild Radio Agony Ant, putting the agony back in Ant with the evil upper-class fish man. Ouch. Unpleasant. Right. Stupidity is really the order of the day today. There are a lot of stupid people that play World of Warcraft. Fortunately, I don't think any of them are listening, so I can insult them freely. Okay. Here's a start. Stupid people. It's people who think that RP and PvP can go together. That would probably be one of my big bones of contention. Even on the European service people do actually uh, think this is possible. RP and PvP. Here's the problem, folks. How do you PvP being a ganker? How can it be done? Let's see. Okay. I walk up behind you as my evil rogue. I am stealth in a particularly stealthy fashion. You appear to be significantly weaker than I. You are sitting down, drinking from a goblet of doom. I stunlock you and slash you into little pieces. I gain honor points. I cash in honor points for fat loot. We rejoice freely in the streets and quaff much mead. No! It's not going to work, is it, folks? Really, let's engage our brains before using the internet, just for a second. How can you have RP and PvP? How? Because ganking is possibly the worst sort of uh, anti-PvP thing you can really think. It's a bit crazy. No, 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 no. You can't RP ganking. You can't RP gathering honor points. You know... The irony is that the honor system would have probably worked best on an RP server and actually probably still does. Simply because the honor system requires people to be honorable. And that's a really big problem because, let's face it, players are not honorable. Especially not in PvP. It really doesn't work that way. So now. In the current state, the honor system and PvP is not going to work in an RP environment. So the suggestion of a PvP RP server is silly. The idea of PvP is that you can consensually get involved in roleplay style battles, yeah? So, you arrange a battle. You pick a scenario, yeah? Say, an underling of Thrall has kidnapped the daughter of... I don't know, the Dwarven Daughter in Iron Forge, whatever. And he's taken him to, to a secret underground lair. 
which just happens to be in the drag in Ogrima. Down in the Cleft of Shadows, yeah? It's taking them down there. So, they bravely invade Stormwind in Org- or- order to rescue Princess Beardy or whatever. It's a consensual battle. They turn their PvP flags on consensually, and that's the way RP servers work, yeah? If you have it so they're not on consensually, then how can you possibly RP every single little encounter? How do you RP that? You have a, a server where everyone is a dishonorable, evil bastard. Now, you can't RP World of Warcraft if everyone is a dishonorable bastard, because, quite frankly, that's the entire point of RP. So, meh. You would have to write a story. And, yes, sir, you, like you say, Adshar makes a very good point in the channel. You can't just spit, spit, hash, spit is not RP, yeah? Emote macros are very, very poor way of expressing RP. When used properly, they're fantastic. However, they very, very rarely are. Let's be realistic. Slash spit, slash spit. Oh, I'm clever. I'm hard. Fear me mortals. No, not going to happen. Well, I'm in a ranting mood right now. So more ranting you shall receive. And I'm going to deal with something, something that's just recently been announced. It's always been a bit of a problem on Europe, on the European servers, and since it's kind of becoming a Eurocentric show, I'm going to deal with it. That's language. Language. You see, over in Europe, we've got a myriad of languages. We don't just all talk your sort of rubbishy version of English that you Yanks call English. American English. As in, we can't spell, but never mind. Let's get on with it anyway. Stop sulting the Americans. I've got Americans listening. Ah, I need to remember that, but Never mind. <sighs> language. We've got a lot of different languages. Obviously, we've got French, we've got Swedish, we've got all that rubbish. Now, on our servers, we used to have a policy. Generally receivable channels, you had to speak English. Unless you were on, say, a French-specific server. And there are some. There's also German-specific servers and all that. People didn't. Some people didn't follow it, but usually we could point to the policy, report them to the GM and say, Look, stop, stop now, yeah? So, now they've changed it. They have indeed changed the policy. Now, let me find the post in which they've done this. They've changed the policy as to language. Now, we very, very rarely get any kind of meaningful dev post on the forums, but we managed to get this one. The lead game master let it, made his presence felt. Never, ever, ever heard of that. Never heard of him. Let's see. It says, Greetings all lately. We've received a number of players who are concerned about the languages used by other players on the English servers. And I would like to take a moment to clarify our policy. We have a, do- a lot of different nationalities playing together, blah, blah, blah. We call them English servers because the game client is in English. No, really? While it's more polite to speak a language that most of the game community understand, we do not want to force people to exclusively speak a language which is not of their mother tongue. Using other languages in general chat is not something we will take sanctions against. Okay. Now that is a bit of an issue, because let's face it, that is actually annoying. Recently, yep, in Yell, I mean Yell was always a bit of a problem with this. People would speak a lot of Swedish on our Dagespine server. No offense to the Swedes, but really, if you're gonna try and communicate a message on a server which is mostly English, I would really suggest you speak in English. And some people got knocked off by it because when you see five lines of things you don't understand. You don't like it. I mean, people don't necessarily like things they don't understand. It bothers them. They don't expect it. It bothers them when people say things that they can't sort of deal with. So, bit of an issue there. And now they've actually made this policy where they're not going to prosecute, if you say so. They're not going to actually take any actions against it. Now this has got 14 pages of replies in the EU forms. It's a big issue of contention. I'd like to hear what you lot think about that. My personal opinion is, to be honest with you, if you're on an English server and you're in general chat, logically speaking, you would actually want people to understand, to understand what you're saying. And if you're on a majority English server, then you should be speaking English. That's really it. If you want to speak to Swedes, etc., and you know of Swedes that are in your guild, that's cool. Great. But on a general channel, especially trade, 
It's especially annoying on trade when people actually say, you know, uh, speak Swedish, and then you'll just see random little words you understand. That I don't really know what you're after here. You know, you're trying to sell something or whatever, or you're trying to be in a group, and I don't understand where you want to go. Surely you'd get a better response if you spoke English. Hmm. Hum de hum. Now here's an interesting comment from Royal Alchemist. He says, I'm a Swede that plays on the American service for the simple reason I don't want to listen to other Swedes or other European language speak around. Yeah. Fair enough. Let's face it. An MMO is an MMO because it has a lot of people in it. Might sound obvious, but it goes a little bit deeper than that. An MMO is based around people. It's not... The gameplay in an MMO is not necessarily as good as, say, the gameplay in a single-player RPG or an FPS or whatever. Because, in a reality, you make some of your own content. The content is there for you to do what you want with. You know, a raid, or an attack on an instance, or, you know, an attack on a town, etc. Or even just going out grinding with a few friends. It's great fun, yeah? And the reason it's fun is because you're being social. And there's a social aspect to the whole thing. Now... You can't be social with someone you don't understand. And that's where the language issue comes into play. And I think that's why people are bothered by it. Some people are just stupid. I mean, they'll just lash out because they're racist or whatever. But the majority of people who are actually bothered by people speaking under la other languages in general is that it kind of kills their immersion value a bit. It kills the kind of whole social aspect of MMO because they don't understand what this person's talking about. Especially when people get into conversations in a different language. And I say, I have no problem whatsoever with other people standing, f uh, with other people speaking other languages, but on general chat, I think that's a bit silly. It's, you, if you can't communicate with other people, then that kills off a little bit of what an MMO is all about. It really is about communicating with other people, because really, if you're soloing an MMO, you're missing the point. You really are. The point is to play with other people, it's to get to know people, and it's to have fun. Yeah? That's my idea. That's my view on the whole thing. Anyway, I think I've blabbed on quite long enough. Because people have been throwing insults my way, as they do. Apparently, uh, Brits don't clean their teeth. See, that's a lie. I don't know where we ever, ever got this idea from, but quite frankly, my teeth are exceptional. I mean, I could bite your hands off. That's how good my teeth are. Gleaming, gleaming white. Fantastic teeth. Got good dentists over here. And, of course, you can buy Aquafresh. And Aquafresh is amazing. Screw your arm and hammer stuff. Aquafresh kicks its ass. I'll quite happily eat Aqua Fresh. It is that tasty. But let's get off the toothpaste. Because it's time to introduce the first feature of the night. Ask the Murloc, folks. Ask the Murloc. Ask the Murloc. <laughs> hey, there it is. I did wonder where my sound sample went. After last week, I was asked to cut the noise of the Ask the Murloc sample down slightly because it scared people. <laughs> yeah. It scared people. Of course, coming up right now, we have... Ask the Murloc. <laughs> now, I must explain. The Murloc is not his usual self. The Murloc has evolved. The Murloc has become a high-class Murloc. He's been drinking cognac and eating caviar. And this is... Ask the Murloc. <laughs> I am Anneli Trog and I'm looking forward to printing all the noobs. However, I'm confused. I'm level 50, but I still haven't got the best rogue ability. At what level do I learn stun lock? Ah, it is I, the Murloc! Bow down snail, for I have dominion over you! Anyway, good chap, you're but a fool! An insignificant cad! Stunlock's is not an ability, it's merely the generic term used to describe locking a player in place with stun, while you skillessly slice them into bite-sized morsels. Or your blithering imbecile would actually believe that there was an actual skill called Stunlock. Ha ha! Ask the Murloc. Dear Murloc, where do I get the plans for the flawless Arcanite rifle? I've been looking everywhere, but I can't seem to find them. Please help. Please help? No, please help. Stop gobbling, woman. What do you think I am, an agony yet? Wipe the dribble from your nostrils and shut up. I'll learn how to do things for yourself for a change. I'm feeling benevolent for once. The Murloc is pitying the fool who don't know where to get the flawless Arcanite schematic. Thoughtbot, damn you. Check Thoughtbot, then farm it yourself. Alternatively, buy it in the auction house. Then die. Ha-ha! 
Ask the milk. <laughs> Dear Merloc, my pet hates me. I keep trying to feed it various tasty items, but it refuses them all. What can I do? Dear God, man, do I look like a vet to you? Or a cook? Or a cooking vet? Haha! <laughs> Don't be absurd. I think your pet just despises your face. How about letting it eat your face and save us all your incessant prattle? I fear your stupidity may be contagious, so I must sign off now to prevent my superior mind from being contaminated by your putrid filth. Haha! <laughs> Ask the milk. Since the subject's teeth at the moment, here's a bit of Green Day. This is Pulling Teeth, folks. You're listening to Wow Radio, the Blue Please Show with Total Biscuits. Enjoy.